Enough training. Now you fight a real enemy. nearby. It's just you and them. Finish it. Enemy UAV active. at me. He's gonna come out and kill me. Of course he's gonna shoot me. That sucks. That wasn't fair. Hey Baker. Virtual assistant dot VIP Charles Ingle BPOG acquisitions dot org. What does that do? Hey, Rolanda McDuffie, how are you? You're a CPA, huh? You know, my accounting classes were like the hardest classes I ever took, and I, I love the challenge, though. I respect CPAs immensely because I know how hard it is to become one. Okay. All right, what are we shooting at? You know, oh, man, I did not mean to jump off this Enemy roof. soldier nearby. Oh crap! And they're and they're totally killing me because I'm stupid. And I jumped off the damn roof. R S McDuffie C P A dot com. Okay. Good for you, Miss McDuffie. I remember the McDuffies in my high school. They were really good at basketball. Get me? Nope. He's not coming to pick me up. Drop on the way. 
I suck at basketball. You do. They could be targeted. You and me both. Whoa, oh, shit. Oh, they're gonna kill me. Man, I hate being stuck down here. I wonder if my teammate's gonna help me. Nope. You know what, Rolanda, I used to play a lot of basketball, and I wasn't very tall. I mean, I'd never been very tall, but I keep hoping that'll change, but it hasn't. And um, the way I was able to impact the game, I wasn't tall and I couldn't dribble that well, but the way I was able to impact the game was I, um, I spent a lot of time shooting three-point shots, and I became so good at shooting three-point shots, I could literally hit 20 in a row. I was that good of a shooter. Like, like I, I would have gladly entered into a shooting contest with some of the best in the NBA because cause I could really shoot my butt off. Oh, crap. Let me just see if I can. Okay, do I have any teammates nearby? God. Hey, LaRue Marlo, many styles of bowling.com. Nice. I'm just messing around playing the game while I wait for my wife to get ready so we can go to the um, airport. I don't want to play with these guys. They, they weren't team players. I, li I, like, I like teamwork. I'm not playing with these guys. I'm gonna play with some new people. Only losers don't care about teamwork. Wonder what made me nervous. Wonder what to do. One that makes me feel like I feel when I'm with you. When I'm alone with you. I make custom jerseys and apparel for bowlers across the U.S. I'm third in the market and number one for our people. That's great, LaRue. So, you know, LaRue, are, are you a good bowler? I have so much respect for good bowlers. Because you know what? For a minute, I, I really gave it consideration to, like, try to be a professional bowler. <clears throat> and and I, I stopped trying when I realized how hard, how much time it was going to take. I thought about be uh, becoming a pro in golf, bowling, and poker. And I probably could have done any of them if I'd really wanted to make the commitment. I just didn't want to commit to that. Instead, I committed to what I do. But I remember researching all of them. In poker, I'm pretty good. I've actually won tournaments with a thousand people. Okay, I have nothing. Oh, okay. Let's see. What's up, <coughs> What's up Dr. Boyce? I've been watching your videos for a while and just wanted to say that I really appreciate the content. Have you ever thought about getting into politics? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I would never, ever want to go into politics. I mean, you know, I guess you should never say never, but there is nothing on this earth I can imagine right now that would make me want to go into politics. I'll support a politician. You know, I'll, I'll financially back a politician if I believe in what they're doing. But I'm not gonna. Um, I don't want. I don't want to get out there like that. American politics is so stupid and messy and ghetto. It's ridiculous. I don't want no, no parts of that shit. I mean, I want to have my peace of mind.
he on the roof? Did he really mess around the roof, dude? I gave up the pro status when COVID hit. So you gonna get it back? Are you gonna start? You gonna start playing again? Location now. I, I think I think bowling, pro bowling, is amazing. I, I mean, I didn't know how much extra work it takes in terms of like having a special kind of ball and and the way they roll the ball is so different from you know from the way I thought you were supposed to roll it. You know, it's like, it's like Enemy UAV active. I mean, it's just like a whole nother level. You know, in terms of how the pro bowlers think about bowling versus me, where I would just concentrate really hard and you know I could get a strike every blue moon or whatever so i have a lot of respect for you man it's pretty awesome hostile dropping into the area watch the skies okay, this gun is so big yeah i'm gonna keep it i like it Yeah, I'm hearing people. I'm hearing somebody. Somebody coming. Hostile dropping into the area. Gas is inbound. Enemy team is tracking your position. Get to right. the safe zone. All right, T Bone Ski. Let's play together. Contract failed. Stand down. Enemy UAV active. Contract initiated. Get it done. Located a supply Go, box. Deployed. Secure that position. Drop inbound. Twenty five remain. Solid work so far. Get to the new safe zone. Oh, Gas guy, is yeah. closing in. Where's Hostile dropping into the air. What's the sky? Enemy precision airstrike. Stay alert. Oh god, no. Crap. Shit. Oh. <clears throat> I bowl and made more money as an amateur with my business. I connected with the black organization that travels. Good for you. I'm the main vendor for the organization with over 5,000 bowlers in the U.S. There you go, LaRue. Go get that money, man. <coughs> Ricky, I've been wanting to start my own YouTube channel, but I haven't been able to figure out what I want my message and content to be about. Do you have some advice you can share? Yeah, I would say um, have fun, be consistent, and and maybe uh, pick a niche initially if you if you really want to try to grow. Um, I think I think niches, you know, are pretty um, necessary if you're starting a, a new channel in these this day and age, like. There was a time where you could, um, oh, where'd he go? No way. I had this dude right there. Shit. Voice. Idiot. Where these guys at? Where'd they go? Oh, they're right here. Shit. Where are they? Upstairs? Crap. 
<laughs> this is frustrating. Okay, gotta get out of here. All friendlies are in the safe zone. But yeah, I, I would say pick a niche and also be consistent. And maybe, uh, and remember, you know, the there's it's there's over. three ways to uh, get Enemy traffic, you know, on a website or anything. Um, you can buy it, build it, or borrow it. Buying it uh, costs money, but maybe if you get like a YouTube ads person that can, you know, help you link, also link your, um, you know, if you have a product to sell or something like that, they can maybe drive you some traffic. Um building it takes a lot of time that's what i did i just my youtube channels are a decade old um or borrow it where you can you know like that's how vicky dillard you know we were able to help vicky dillard build a big platform quickly is she came and did content with us and um oh this guy and um and in exchange you know, uh, we helped her like get traffic to her platform. So that might be like, you know, an option you could consider also. Enemy UAV active. Okay. Trophy system deployed. Gotta load up this shotgun. It's slow as hell though. Position marked. Airstrike. Hit it. This is Phoenix 3. Strike inbound. Enemy is still alive. Repeat. Enemy still alive. Who shot you, dude? Oh, crap. Oh. God. Victory is within reach. Boys. So stupid of you. <laughs> oh, that was so dumb. Oh, that was dumb of me. <sighs> okay. Anyway. Um. Hey Doc, can I play with you? Yeah, send me a friend request. My um my Activision ID is in the in the description. I can't play with anybody today because my wife is gonna call me in like two minutes. To get on the airplane, I'm just waiting for her to come in the room. You actually got my name right on the first try. Most people don't get it right off the top, so good job. Oh, thank you, Ricky. I appreciate that. Where are you? Uh, where are you from? Oh crap! Get out of the gas is up. Take them down. Okay, I can't get my stuff. Get the freaking gas now. No, I want to go in the gas and get my stuff. Welcome to AR for retrieval. Moving! Issue guard lost. Issue guard lost. I can't see anything. Armor marked. Where? Okay, you marked armor? Where? Oh. Ready, babe? Okay. okay, my love. Uh, I can hear you, babe. I, I can hear you. 
Okay, baby. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, sweetie. I agree. Ricky, I appreciate that. From Jersey. Ah! He said I handled it like a true G. What What did I handle like a true G? Well, you got second place. Second isn't terrible. It's not as good as first. Same team. I don't know what y'all think. I think I'm gonna find a different team. I didn't like my team. Why didn't you get behind some? Oh, get behind something. <clears throat> you know, that's a good point. I think that what happens is like in the in the metaverse, there's probably like a metaverse equivalent of the fog of war, where you get in the situation and you just have to react based on instinct. So you don't always make like the optimal decision because you're just trying to like survive in that moment and you got to like make the decision fast. But, um, you know, it's, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not going to pretend like I'm like great at this game or anything. I just, to me, it's like a fun challenge though, because I, I remember just thinking like, what's the rule that says that, you know, that I can't just jump in video games and learn how to play them. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it. And I was terrible at it. And <clears throat> everything has a learning curve. It's like uh, er almost everything I've ever been able to figure out has started off with me embarrassing myself by how bad I was at the beginning. Like, if you're not willing to look like a fucking idiot for at least a little while, then you're never going to really learn anything new. That's just the real, real talk for everybody listening. Like, I just think about... Like when I got my when I, when I got my teeth when I got my teeth fixed and you know got a lot of dental work done, I had the whole internet making fun of me because I couldn't talk right. I was slobbering on myself. My my you know my 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 mouth was all fucked up. And but I just stuck with it and I stuck with it, you know, because I, I had a dream of something bigger and better. And now now you know now I have like this perfect awesome smile and I'm really proud and happy that I endured all that, you know what I mean? The same thing is true even with little stuff like this. Like, you know, when I first started playing, you know, I, w I wasn't that good. People made fun of me, like, like you're 50 years old, why are you playing video games? And I just basically said, fuck you. And now, you know, and it's kind of cool to, like, do what you want to do and, and, you know, and be happy, like, whatever that means for you. So for me, happiness meant connecting with my 17-year-old son by learning how to play video games and now this is what I do and and I just I don't know I think that there's like a benefit to living life on your own terms but you can't Stand think you're gonna do to it and zone. have everybody happy for you all the time or everybody cheering you on you know um, I would really practice letting go of any sort of need for external validation for anything that you do like find your internal validation so that you don't have to worry about what the fuck other people think you know, I, I think learning how to not care what people think is really a great asset to have if you're ever trying to do things that are hard. I'd like to share my aunt's info. Yeah, of course you can. 
What is, what is your aunt's name? What is my favorite restaurant? I don't know, man. Uh, me and my wife like Chipotle and Chick-fil-A and, <laughs> and uh, Portillo's and shit like that. Got a teammate? Alright, cool. Let's go. Me and you, homie. Let's go kill everybody. Teamwork makes the dream work. All enemies die today. Okay. You're not even here anymore. I thought you had my back. That's okay. Enemy UAV active. Enemy soldier nearby. Friendly recon inbound. UAV beginning flyover. Target appears hostile. Target what do you say, baby? Oh, is it the car? Okay. All right, let me finish this game, and then I'm coming, babe. I am ready to go. I'm ready to go. UAV is out of fuel. Returning for resupply. Okay. Oof. Somebody sniped me. At me. Well, that hurt. That wasn't right. Tough to kill a king. Oh, shit. Oh, there's three of them. Dr. Hazel Ann Lewis. Well, shout out to Dr. Hazel Ann Lewis. Tell her I said hello. All right, everybody, I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. God bless you. I love you. And uh, I shall see you soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.